In an unprecedented move, the Office of the Speaker of Parliament has received about six private members' bills in just about two weeks. Now, as MPs await debate on whether the first proposed private member's bill on the removal of the 75-year presidential age limit will be allowed to be tabled in the House, another MP has presented yet another proposal to Speaker Rebecca Kadaga to present a private member's bill. Mukono South legislator Johnson Muyanja Senyonga says his motion intends to seek leave of parliament to allow him to table a bill on the federal system of governance. During CA, eh, over 85% of Ugandans supported the federal system of governance. Had we had this system already in place, all these struggles wouldn't take place because really the issues are two. Power and distribution of resources coming from one center. The motion also seeks for a law to enable equal distribution of government resources to prevent political instability in the country due to agitation. The way we are moving, we are likely to have more chaos even in the future. But the best is federal set of government, where all issues are directly concerned by the people within that particular area in order to avoid always being so demanding from the center, the center. Machindi Seba Gabo Municipality MP Sempala Chigozi is also planning to present a private member's bill to cap the powers of the president during presidential election campaigns. We have a problem during the transition. For example, in November, they say campaign is start for the president. Now, what, happened between, what happens between November and May? when the new president swears in. Imagine, it's the same president, you're contesting with him, he has all the powers that the constitution gives him. I, I think that transition needs a bill. So you're preparing for Yes, I'm definitely going to prepare one for that. I'm going to prepare a bill. I don't know what name I'm going to give it, but the intention is to reduce the powers of the president during the campaigns so that we have we level the ground. So the moment they allowed the movement caucus allowed Majesi, they didn't know. They unwittingly opened a Pandora's box. And these are the fallouts. These are the weaknesses in that very process. However you may understand where individual members are trying to grapple with a very, very, very difficult situation. They are trying in their own way to come up with innovative uh, strategies on how to defeat the monster. I, I'm actually suspicious that there, there may be some bit of plan by the executive or the, 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 the cocoons of NRM because I'm wondering why is it that most of these private members are being brought by NRM members. They can be a hatched plan that if you bring them many, maybe we can go uh, 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 for omnibus. In the omnibus, anything we go through. The six motions seeking leave to table with private members' bills, including one on lifting the 75-year presidential age limit by Igara West MP Rafael Majezi, another by Kassanda North MP Patrick Nsamba Oshabe, urging the executive to urgently constitute a constitutional review commission. Workers MP Dr. Sam Moki has two planned bills on the restoration of presidential term limits and another entitled the Museveni Succession, Transition and Immunities Bill. Kasambia MP Gafam Watekamwa also plans a bill to scrap the constitutional provisions on minimum academic requirements for all elective positions in the country. While Manjia MP John Baptist Nambeshe plans a bill to ensure that all MPs appointed to cabinet resign their parliamentary seats.